I have to talk about something that, uh, that which will be one of the very big uh, new realizations by 2008, which will be a realistic scientific accounting system of what is wealth. We now know that wealth isn't the goal that the old pirates used to have. Wealth is energy, and we have it in Einstein in the world in which the scientists found that when energy left any local system, energy was engine, it only did so by joining another system. It did not go out of the universe. But experiment after experiment, they found the energy never got lost. So they had to write an entirely new law of energy, called the law of conservation of energy, which said energy can neither be created nor lost. So this sudden we got a new clue to wealth. Wealth is not something that's going to deteriorate and, and, and get lost, which was a great, a great way of thinking uh, and, all the, and all the economics. Next thing I discover, that wealth is, consists of something more than energy, it considers. So I find that now that every time we use it, we say, I make an experiment. Now, every time you make an experiment, you always learn more. You can't learn less. You may learn that what you thought was happening isn't happening. That's, that saves you a lot of your time. You want to then increase the effectiveness of that time. So I then say that the intellectual factor in wealth is one which every time we use it always improves. We always learn more. I've discovered that the energy part can't run down and then the intellectual factor, every time you use it, improves. Therefore, wealth, I discovered, is something that always increases. So that I would then point out to you that we are going to be able to afford to, to make everybody customers. And we're going to be able to afford then to bring in your Africa. And that, this, is, this is the answer to your question. We talk, well, all the world, all the world, going to have to make all of humanity successful or none.